Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost video on determining a total amount when the amount of the remaining quantity is provided. Let's read the question. Gita is keeping money in a piggy bank. A half of the coins are 1p coins, a sixth of the coins are 2p coins, and the other four coins are 5p. What is, sorry, grammatical mistake, what is the total number of coins? Now, you might want to visualise this with a kind of bar model here. Let's think, we've got half the coins, so that's about half, so half the coins we know are 1p, and then an additional six of the coins, so about this, six of the coins are 2p, and then we know the remaining coins are 5p. And we're told that there's four coins here, so there's four coins here, that represents all the information in the question. Now if we think about it, we know the total fraction of coins that are 1p or 2p, and therefore we find the remaining fraction here, we know what fraction of the coins are 5p, and we can say that fraction of the coins is the four coins, and from that we can work out the total number of coins. Now to work out what fraction of 5p coins, we need to first add these two fractions. So if we do half plus a sixth, now we need a common denominator, so remember we find a number that 2 and 6 go both into, it's 12, so do these over 12. So 2 to 12 we times it by 6, so the 1 times by 6, and the 6 you times by 2 to get to 12, so the 1 you times by 2 to get to 2 twelfths, and that adds to 8 twelfths, and 8 twelfths is the same as 2 thirds. So that means two thirds of the coins are either 1p or 2p. So therefore, we have a third left because 1 minus 2 thirds is 1 third. We know that a third of the coins are 5p. If we add those three fractions together, that comes to a whole, all of the coins. Therefore, we're getting there. We know that a third of the coins, from here onwards, is what we'd actually write, I think, as our working. So a third of the coins, a third of the coins is equal to four coins. And therefore, all of the coins, well, all of the coins is three times bigger than a third of the coins. We saw that in a previous video. So we therefore just need to times by three, four times three is equal to 12 coins. So therefore, the total number of coins, all the coins, is 12 coins in total.